Section 8 is a very rough ride if you don't really know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing and you know how to put it all together, it could look like this apartment building, this type of rent, this type of cash flow. I own more or less uh, like the whole friggin' street in this general little area. <laughs> Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are gonna provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise be giving it to you straight. Y'all, if you're wondering what it looks like when someone excels at the Section 8 program and really understands what it looks like, what it could look like, uh, the type of money that can be made, you're going to want to pay attention to this deal right here, okay? 4083 Ridge Road, Cleveland, Ohio, right? This is one of my apartment buildings. I've owned this thing probably for like a decade, I'd say, okay? Now, this thing is fully occupied and running like a friggin', I don't know. I was going to use an analogy, but I can't even think of one. This is dope as this apartment building, y'all. You see Holton Wise TV and you hear landlords tell you horror stories about the Section 8 program. And then we have the Tennis from Hell show. And you see a lot of the bad stuff that could happen with Section 8. And it's a very important that you guys watch that because that's all true. Section 8 is a very rough ride if you don't really know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing and you know how to put it all together, it could look like this apartment building, this type of rent, this type of cash flow. I own more or less uh, like the whole friggin' street in this general little area, right? There is a ton of apartment buildings uh, in this general area on the west side of Cleveland. And uh, Holton Wise, we own like a large portion of them, okay? And uh, throughout the year, we're probably going to pop a few more on the market for y'all. Now, I know the price is a little steep, right? Four ninety nine nine, right? Uh, here's the thing. I don't have to sell, and I'm not going to sell uh, at a discount. So uh, if you're coming at me and you don't see the value uh, of a fully operational Section 8 turnkey apartment building that's been hardened and is running like a friggin' well-oiled machine, uh, then this building isn't for you, right? Because if you come at me and, and you want to lowball it or something like that, the answer is no, I'm not messing around. Like, this is what I do for a living. This is my job. I've owned this building for a decade. If I need to own it for another 10, 15, 20 years, that's fine. That's that's my go-away price uh, for this particular building. If you want to pay it, great. If you don't, all right, cool. Fuck yourself, man. Peace out. <laughs> I mean, that's it. We don't have to waste each other's time, man. There's other buildings on the market you could buy, or if you want our help in helping you find distressed sellers, that's fine. We can help you. But if you want it all put together, this is the price. Uh, and that's it. No questions asked. No negotiations, right? I mean, that's the price, right? You want to come to me at like a dollar less? The answer is no, dude. This is the price. I've set the price. This is the price. Uh, if you want to try to, you know, work together to discuss things with like a, a distressed distress seller, we can do that. Uh, but for this building, this is the price, y'all. And, you know, it takes a lot. Uh, to get a building like this, okay? Like all that stuff we put on Holton Wise TV ab about the Tennis from Hell stuff and, and all the rough stuff you guys see. We get a lot of comments on those kind of videos and people are always like, oh my God, you must be a horrible landlord if you're doing all these evictions and all these tenants screw up your units, blah, 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 blah. We get all kinds of content, uh, comments on our, on our videos, right? Uh, of people saying that stuff. And I'm like, I, you know, I just got to laugh because like those people don't actually understand what it is that Holton Wise does. Like, like when Holton Wise uh, acquires a building, like those are the kind of buildings we acquire. That's what we do. That's what this business is, okay? There is a ton of mom and pop landlords out there who don't apparently watch Holton Wise TV. They get in over their heads. They buy houses, apartment buildings. They rent them to tenants, and the tenants wreak havoc on their lives, and they screw things up. And then you know what they do when they get in over their head? They call Holton Wise, okay? Then Holton Wise, we come in, we take over the asset, and we flip them around, we turn them around, and then they end up looking like this, right? So you guys need to see the horror because you guys need to know what can happen if you're not working with a company like Holton Wise or you don't have the knowledge of a company like Holton Wise. But if y'all think that, like, the buildings that Holton Wise 
manages and screens the tenants and rehabs and all that jazz. If you think they end up all looking like that, you're crazy. How would I have made as much money as I had, right? Like, we don't actually make money evicting people. I know uh, a lot of, you know, Wokies out there, they're like, oh, you must love evicting tenants. I mean, kind of. We do love it because it's enjoyable throwing out a motherfucker who's been stealing from you, but it's by no means a profitable, like, business model. Like, no landlord goes into it like, man, instead of collecting a bunch of money, I'd love to just make this guy uh, move out of my house and then have to fix the $25,000 of damage he did to my building and then have people break into it and steal things while he's gone. This is great. I'm going to do this all the way to the bank, right? That doesn't make any fucking sense now, does it? No. What you want to do is get to where this building is, right? But unfortunately, to get to where I'm at today, to get to where this building is, to be able to offer it to you at this price, and if you don't want to pay this price, I don't have to worry about it because it ain't no sweat off my back. You got to go through a lot of buildings like that. And then we rescue people and help them go from there, the nasty stuff on the tenants from hell, to here, right? Six properly screened tenants in six renovated units, right? You've been looking at all the footage. They're all occupied. I'm sure the footage my guys uh, have been putting on the screen is the footage we utilize uh, for our rental property tours, right? We film video tours for our rentals. Uh, so properly screened, properly renovated, properly marketed, Section 8, you can get to this point. When I started buying apartment buildings in this area on this street, like, dude, these one-bedroom units that I'm getting seven eighty seven fifty on Section 8 vouchers, dude, those were like $450 units, okay? I've pretty much doubled the rent, all right? We're getting freaking almost $900 out of the two units, right? Basically doubled the rent over the last decade. You could do that because, A, the housing market, generally appreciates rental rates they appreciate y'all hear about the people talking about rents going through the roof right that kind of stuff is going to happen over time number one and then number two i operate my buildings in a pristine manner i renovate them i get them looking good so i can pick out the very best type of tenants i can get so i don't got to constantly fix things over and over and over again y'all this even if you don't want to buy this, folks, this is what you should be aiming to get your Section 8 apartment buildings to look and feel like, right? Uh, from here, if you'd like to make an offer on the building, go ahead and send an email to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. We are accepting cash offers or financed offers. If it's a cash offer, first of all, it needs to be four ninety nine nine. Don't worry about sending anything other than four ninety nine nine. You might be like, oh, you know, maybe James will take four seventy five. No, I fucking won't. So don't waste the time. Four ninety nine nine. Send me an email with a screenshot of a bank account that has at least half a million dollars in it. If it does not have half a million dollars in it, do not fucking send it to me because I do not want to see it. Okay? Be like, hey, James, forty eighty three Ridge. I want to just. Plug and play, baby. I don't wanna I don't wanna deal with all that horrible stuff. I wanna buy it. I wanna have Holton Weiss keep operating it like the wild machine it is. Here is my proof of funds for five hundred K. And then we could drop the contract contingent on inspection. Or you could go ahead and finance it with a lender. In that case, same stuff, but of course, just send me your pre approval letter from your lender. If you don't have a lender, don't you worry, y'all. I got lenders for you. Just let my team know, sales at HoltonWise.com, that you want to buy the building, but you need financing. We have lenders who will work with investors. You don't have to be in Cleveland. You don't even have to be in Ohio. You could be anywhere in the United States, or you could even be a foreign national. We do have lenders that work with foreign nationals, although I will be honest with you. I'll be up front with you right here. Foreign nationals, right? Like you might be a dude just sitting up there in Toronto. Like, yeah, man, well, give me off some U.S. real estate. That's great, dog. I'm happy that you want to get some U.S. real estate. But just so you know, bro, lenders don't love you living in Toronto as much as they love motherfuckers in the USA. So your terms will not be as good. If you think you're going to get the same terms as Americans, it's just not going to happen uh, just because it's, it's a risk-reward thing for the lender, bro. Like, if you screw the lender and you're in the USA, it's a little bit easier uh, for them to recover than if you're – out of the country. So because of that, they need to charge more for the additional risk, right? You might be a great person. You might be the best Canadian motherfucker out there. You might be just sitting there all fucking happy, fucking drinking maple syrup, watching some fucking hockey with your beautiful little kids because you're a great person. Uh, but in the eyes of the bank, you're still more risky than Americans. So you're going to have to pay a little bit more. But 
we still can get you the financing, right? So cash offers, finance offers, or if you need financing, sales at HoltonWise.com, Section 8 Investing. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.